And behold, even as she was saying all this, one of God's angels suddenly appeared to her and said, Anna, Anna, do not be afraid. Do not think that what you see is some delusion. For I am the angel who has presented your petitions and charitable donations in the presence of God. The Lord God has heard your plea and ordained seed for you. You will conceive and give birth, and your child's name will be the talk of the whole earth. All generations will marvel at what you are to bear, even until the end of the age. As my Lord is the living God, Anna replied, If a child is given to me, be it either a boy or a girl, I will give it to the Lord my God, and it will serve him all the days of its life. Then the angel said to her, I have been sent to let you know that you are to bear a daughter. You are to call her name Mary, and she will be favored above all other women. And as soon as she is born, she will exhibit qualities like those of the Lord. She will be brought up in her father's house until the three years of her weaning run out. Then she will be given to the service of the Lord. She will never set foot off the temple grounds until she reaches the age of discretion. In short, in that place, she will serve the Lord, fasting and praying day and night, keeping away from every unclean thing, and never lying with a man. This will be unparalleled. A virgin will give birth to a son in a pure and undefiled manner. Without sleeping with a man, a young woman will bring forth the Lord, who will rescue the world through his divine nature, power, and labors. And after he had spoken this, the angel vanished from her sight. But because she had seen all this and heard such words, she withdrew to her bedroom in fear and dread, threw herself over her bed as dead, and stayed there all day and night in prayer and trembling. When all of this had taken place, she called her servant to herself and said, Do you not see how my widowhood has deluded me and caused me no end of confusion? Even so, you have been unwilling to come in and visit me. Now the great day of the Lord was approaching, so her servant Judith asked Anna, How long are you going to wallow in your self-pity? Because the Lord's great day is nearly upon us, and you will be unable to do any mourning then. Behold, here is a head covering. A seamstress had given it to me, but because I am just a servant, I cannot wear it. Why not take it to yourself instead, since it so greatly befits your regal appearance? Go away, Anna replied. I will not accept this thing from you. The Lord has humiliated me, and who knows but that some evildoer has not given it to you. Your passing it on to me might only get me caught up in your sin. Somewhat sullenly, Judith replied. And how am I supposed to bring a curse down on you, seeing that you never even listen to me? The Lord God has sealed your womb that you might not bring forth any children in Israel. If God himself has closed your womb and taken your husband away from you, what could I possibly do to you? And when Anna heard that, she raised her voice and wept aloud.